go to Court Clopping in the Storm Tracker Center, tracking, boy, fire conditions, air quality, heat, you pretty much have it all. Yeah, there's a lot going on out there, Linda, and not much of it is good news. But the one piece of good news is that the wind that we're expecting to see over the next several days is not expected to be very strong, and that is positive news for our fire danger. However, fire danger is going to stay elevated, so is air quality impacts across our region. Those are going to be an issue for us, and we're going to be hot and dry this week. Temperatures staying very hot and very dry through your extended forecast and the low humidity, hot temperatures and just dry overall conditions will continue to result in high fire danger. Now, as far as what's going on moving forward, we have an excessive heat watch. that's already been issued for portions of Trinity, Siskiyou counties and the coastal range from Wednesday into Thursday. We're likely to see a excessive heat watch or warning issued for the valley as well as we get closer. It's going to be downright toasty through the middle of this week with temperatures above 105 degrees projected for both Wednesday and Thursday. It will stay very hot through this weekend. Temperatures this morning starting out in the 60s to 70s in the valley and foothills, 40s to 50s in our mountain zones right now. Wind not very strong, mostly out of the northeast. We're going to see winds shifting, becoming mostly out of the south for the valley this afternoon. Southwest in areas around the Dixie Fire and lighter winds expected close to the fires burning in Trinity County later today. Satellite and radar showing you clear conditions as far as clouds go. Smoke is a different story that is blanketing our region this morning, and most of us are waking up with air quality in the unhealthy for sensitive groups range or worse early today. Meanwhile, we have high pressure building in from the eastern Pacific. This is what's going to continue to dry us out and leave us with very hot conditions over the next several days. And as you get a look at your hyperlocal futurecast, we've got sunshine on the way throughout your forecast on this Monday. More of the same expected on Tuesday. Limited clouds potentially just developing in some of our higher elevations. That is it. We're not seeing any active weather looking likely for today or tomorrow. Midweek, maybe a little bit monsoonal moisture heading in to areas just to our south, but we're not expecting that to really impact us either. Meanwhile, sunny skies with areas of smoke today in the northern mountains. Temperatures in the 90s for your Monday afternoon. We'll end up in the 80s to 90s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades. 80s to 90s in the foothills as well. And if you're in the valley, it's upper 90s to triple digits for this afternoon. Sunny with areas of smoke and we'll see south wind to 10 miles an hour throughout your Monday. Getting a look at what we're seeing as we head into your storm tracker 70 forecast where your weekend's always in view. Toasty today, but temperatures still pretty close to around average. We'll end up heating up through the middle of this week up to 104 on Wednesday in Chico down to the lower triple digits late in the week and then rebounding to 105 on Saturday 102 degrees projected for Sunday with overnight lows mostly in the 70s for the week ahead. Reading 101 degrees for today up to 106 Tuesday peaking at 108 degrees on Thursday staying at 105 or above through your extended forecast for the afternoon high temperatures. So Linda, the heat is certainly going to be a big impact on us this week and fire danger is staying high with how dry our conditions are.